Hi, and welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today is Transfer Thursday, is what I like to call it, and today is the day that I review my investing challenge. So in 2021, I started investing in dividend stocks, and as a goal for 2022, I decided that I was going to start an investing challenge where bi-monthly, I was going to increase each of my positions by roughly $5. I was gonna tell my brokerage I wanted to spend $5, hit submit on the order and see what it came back as. And sometimes it's $5, sometimes it's $4.98, sometimes it's $4.99. It just depends on what's going on with the price of the stock that I'm trying to purchase additional shares. So today is one of those days to celebrate my investing challenge and me moving towards my goal of slowly but surely increasing all of my positions. So we started the month off with Acre, AGNC, ARCC, BTG, EPD, and FDHY. All were able to get their $5 or roughly $5 worth of shares. Now, Franco Nevada is FNV, is one that I do not intend on increasing my position. It's just going to drip, but I wanted to be able to track its dividends every time I got it, as well as the increase in shares. So this is in here, but at the present moment, I do not intend on increasing my Franco Nevada. I might maybe later in the year, but right now I do not. So that leads us into the first of my investments that I was able to actually increase my position. So FSPTX was able to get $5 and that bought me 0 0.189 shares. So I started with roughly one in 1.4 plus another almost two. So roughly I'm sitting at about 1.6 shares. I am shading in my chart with green because my goal is to be green, which means making money this year, not red losing money this year. So this is the first of my positions that I was able to increase by $5, yay! Next is F-U-T-Y. Um, both of these are Fidelity accounts, um, Fidelity stocks, and this one was not $5. It was $4.98, and it was able to purchase 0 0.112 shares. So I started the month with 1.364 shares. I add this 0.112 shares to it, and now I'm sitting just under one and a half shares. Yay! Moving in the right direction. All right. Next up is Glad. Um, I didn't get the whole $5 again. It was only $4.99. And it was 0 0.439 shares. Almost half a share. Yay! Love it when that happens. Um, so I started with five, basically five and a half shares, plus almost another half share. So I am sitting just over six shares of Glad. Makes me happy. Moving, moving, moving in the right direction as my shares increase. So do my dividend payments, which is very important to me. Next up is gold. <clears throat> now, I sat the fence whether or not I was really going to increase um, my position in G-O-L-D. I decided I was going to. I put $5 in and was able to get 0 0.269 shares, so just over a quarter of a share. Um, gold is one of the first companies that I got into that paid me dividends that I didn't realize paid me dividends. Um, but I've decided since it seems to be on sale at such a great rate that I would try to average down is really what I'm doing here. Um, my husband and I have a deal that once gold makes us 50%, um, we're selling it. So I figure I may as well start averaging down while I can because um, it's currently 
what, um, about $19 a share. So can't beat it because I think I'm in it roughly like 21, 22 on some of them. So I had 12.56 shares plus my quarter of a share puts me roughly 12.8 uh, shares. So yay, moving, moving, moving. And then the last one that I was able to increase this week was Jeppy, J-E-P-I. It's a J.P. Morgan um, account or stock. Um, and it was $4.98 was invested in it. And it was little. Um, Jeppy is currently running about $61. So $5 into that is way under, way under um, a tenth of a share. Um, I was able to get 81 hundredths of a share, not a whole, whole stinking lot, but it's moving in the right direction. I'm not really certain how much I really want to be in Jeppy anyways. It kind of freaks me out with its ups and downs. It's not, it's a little more risque than what I'm used to. Um, so I'm not certain how much I really want to get into Jeppy. So this increasing by five dollars is definitely helping me feel a little better increasing my position size and hopefully in the long run increasing my rate of return on my dividends so that is it yep that's main and that was a dividend payment so those were the five shares that i was or five positions i actually was able to increase by five dollars this month um I look forward to continuing this. So I believe that give, brings me up to 11 that I have increased. The goal next month is to do another 11 or 12, and that'll put me at my everybody got increased by five bucks um, by monthly. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today on Managing My Money with Rosa as I updated you on my investing challenge. Um, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you would hit subscribe down below, thumbs up, if you like my videos and any comments that you have or questions on anything. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye guys.